it's Conan the Hero Dog. Probably the world's most famous dog. In an appearance today at the White House that surprised everyone, President Trump introduced a military dog that chased down the leader of ISIS. The president joked about the dog's killer instincts. You're very lucky he doesn't... He's not in a bad mood today. The Twitter sphere is noting how the president seemed so stiff and uncomfortable. He sure seemed to be keeping his distance. For that matter, so did Melania. But Vice President Pence gave Conan a scratch on the head. The dog's military handler, dressed in civilian clothes, didn't say a word. Trump is the first president in a century not to have a dog in the White House, but he had nothing but praise for Conan. And we just gave Conan a, a medal and a plaque. And it's really, uh, and I actually think Conan knew exactly what was going on. Conan has become an American icon. A lookalike even played the, the dog on ISIS. SNL. Conan the Canine Commander. <laughs> The hero dog was supposed to visit the White House the week after last month's historic raid. So why the delay? Conan was sent on another mission. Conan is a tough cookie. <laughs> the publicity around Conan has made the Belgian Malinois breed super popular. And with that popularity comes a warning. They are not your average pet. We're at the largest Belgian Malinois training facility and kennel in the USA, where demand for the breed is skyrocketing. But this dog expert has a warning. It's alarming. Inquiries have increased approximately tenfold. Kennel owner Irene Howcroft says this is not your average pet. They're very active, they're very intelligent. However, their energy level and their abilities surpass what most families can withstand. Benny, up. Braden McDaniels is one of the few civilians vetted to take home a Belgian Malinois protection dog for his family. The first question I ask is questions about the household, fencing, do they have six foot fencing, do they have other dogs in the household, do they have children? He's required to spend five days with Irene, who's a certified master trainer at the kennel in Capitan, New Mexico. My dog will bite. Uh, give me some money. My dog will bite. Crack, the crack. training here is intense. Our camera crew is warned to stay 15 feet away from the aggressive dogs. Irene fears that just as Dalmatians became wildly popular, then abandoned after the movie 101 Dalmatians came out, this newest it dog will suffer the same fate in the hands of less reputable breeders. Malinois are ending up in shelters. People are dumping them and there's some shelters that are euthanizing these dogs. These Malinois are magnificent creatures. Please tread with caution. Melania, do you want to adopt the dog for Baron? <laughs> Good move, Melania.